Hello friends, today is Monday. I am Pastor Joe and I have your word for the day. When I was in high school, I rode the bus to school. My next door neighbor was the bus driver. His name was Madison. He was in his late 60s. He was half Cherokee Indian and half crazy. He loved to laugh. He loved to tell jokes that I never understood. And I gave Madison a hard time as my bus driver when I was younger. But toward the middle of my high school years, I would walk over to Madison's house about once a month. I'd sip a glass of sweet tea and lemonade on his front porch, rock on a rocking chair, and listen to him tell stories about life. He told stories about people that he had met, his childhood growing up, and he made me laugh. You know, I think we all crave somebody wiser than us speaking into our lives. We want to hear wisdom. We want to hear wisdom that guides us, that teaches us, that tells us how we ought to live and the paths we need to take. Wisdom that tells us how to honor God with our lives, to raise a family, to be a husband or a wife. Wisdom that teaches us about honesty, values, and hard work. And it all begins with a deep love, fear, and respect of the Lord. King Solomon said this in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7, The fear of the Lord is the foundation of true knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. If you don't have somebody willing to invest in your life and help you grow in wisdom, I want to encourage you to begin to read the book of Proverbs. It is chock full of great words of advice from a father to a son and from God's heart to you. As you read through it, you will grow in the wisdom of the ancient followers of God. And their wisdom speaks to the multi-generations that are alive today. So sit on that front porch, grab a glass of sweet tea and lemonade, and turn to the book of Proverbs for enlightenment, correction, and wisdom, and you will watch your life begin to change. If today's word for the day has blessed you, like it, comment, and share it on social media. Have a great day and go walk with the wise.